Hi guys and welcome to yet another episode of Project Option in India and today another Plank series so we'll be discussing Voyage by Nautica. So what I have right now, we really do not have a lot of variation so this is going to be a quick video but it's one of the top sellers on all the e-commerce sites. Go to Amazon, Flipkart, everywhere this would be number one on the economy range. So let's talk about the least popular one which is called Voyage N83. N83 comes with a compass design on it. It's a limited edition with a world map around. And the same bottle, like the original one. This one comes with the lighter plastic cap, so it's a new batch. Let's spray it. So I should have uh, not, you know, sprayed the original one first, but let's do reverse this time. So this one. I get this light, sweet, fruity, fruit punch kind of vibe with this cucumber undertone. That's what I detect from it. Because I was recently working on a similar fragrance in my line and I dissected each and every note of it. So what the new and old differs, uh, we will come to that. So I think the right sequence would for us would be to start with the OG one which is crystal blue or rather say marine blue this one is slightly darker slightly darker or two shades darker I don't think there would be much difference in both of them so let's try it mmm this is like how original smells like I would prefer original any day I really don't feel like smelling uh, N83 after this but I'll tell you the difference what is the difference between both of them so this is giving me a very clean soapy slight lavender and I, it doesn't remind me of any other fragrance it's got its own DNA in it which is so safe I mean it's such a safe fragrance you can wear it almost every time in the gym, in the office, wherever and, and you can spray it like as much as you want it's not dominating at all so that's a great part about it it's budgeted, it's uh, not so dominating it's a great for everyday use it, it would get compliments but only in the first two to three hours it, uh, performance for the newer one especially of these lighter ones is a lot a lot lower but if you see this is slightly darker compared to even the color is darker that color is completely silver so definitely what they have tried to do is slightly add a variation and I think this one has got more juniper, berry, gingerish kind of vibe to it with a slight spice touch. I won't say it's a lot of spices in, in there but some, some spicy notes complement the aquatic notes. So there's definitely, you know, uh, juniper berries which I detect from it. A very, I mean, uh, juniper berries is a quite you know, one of the notes which which is mostly used as a supporting note rather than as a main note in any fragrance. So this is straight off fresh, sharp fresh. This is more balanced fresh, what I would say. Next, coming to sport version, which is also popular. What's the difference? It also comes with a red cap on the top. This one comes with a side bluish cap. And the third one I dropped it here comes with a bluish again. So let's see what sport is all about. What I am guessing is going to be more with the added mint. That's what I think. This is what most of the brands do when they come up with a sport version. They make it like zingy and slight more minty. And yeah, I was right about it. Or maybe I just, you know, set up a, I already made, had made a frame, a set of mine before sniffing it. But yeah, I get this slight bubblegummy vibe, leaning more towards Invictus. Yeah, but then I don't find much difference compared to these two, if I compare these two. So if you are not getting the original one, you could pick up the sport one. It really doesn't matter, it's pretty much the same. Now we are coming to the find of the day. This is a really, really old bottle of Voyage, back from 2007-2008 and this is, if I say just by the weight itself, going by and the cap itself is so heavy on this. So this is the metal cap, which you know a lot of people talk about. This has been stored in a 
warehouse for a really long time so it has got these moisture marks on it this, this is what happens guys usually if you guys see there are these small small silica bags in every equipment that's to absorb moisture these bottles were not you know in, in perfume bottle nowadays uh varvatos the wooden bottle comes with that but if they would have added in this this wouldn't have happened so this is heavy heavy cap this and this you know there's a lot of difference this is like 10 grams i actually have a scale i could weigh it and this is like easily 15 to 20 grams easily 20 grams easily what i would say and it comes with a collar here as well while the new one doesn't come with a collar here they come with a plain drain going by the smell and this has a slightly thick pipe and this one has a thinner pipe comparatively and this is even thinner pipe so what happens with the pipe it squids more juice that it will perform for longer if you see one of the reasons nobody would have thought that for the vintage perfumes is they used to last longer they are you're putting more perfume and nowadays people are my they spray so you know miserly i mean uh, you 10 to 15 sprays is a normal routine and in, in i mean it doesn't uh, i mean you, your perfume should be there for a long time if you are doing five sprays okay what's harm in doing 10 15 i mean people would say i don't want to announce myself but i would say what's bad in it so let's spray this see such huge amount of juice it's ready whoa this has got like a lot of added punch to it compared to this one and, and in this 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 almost smells like a edp version compared to this and let's just give it a side by side sniff i find this there is a difference guys there is a lot of difference when i talk about these two editions the new one and the old one and the good news is i have got a lot of metal cap nautica voyage if you are looking for one i i would be shipping it worldwide you could pick up like five bottles six bottles as many as you want i have you know quite a lot of them but i think they're gonna last me after putting this video they're gonna this like forecasting sales forecasting they're gonna last me for three to four weeks so if you are early do check out the link below and they're going for about 25 dollar for a 50 ml uh, in India, it's, it comes to 1500 to 1600 for a 50 ml, and the new 100 ml also costs the same. If you go pick up a new Nautica Voyage, it's selling for 1800, somewhere between 1600 to 2500 for a 100 ml. While this is a, a lot, a lot lighter, I would say. Let's give it a side by side sniff. Three sprays of this, and two sprays is like re application. And this one. They are both very same at the same time really different. Honestly, this is smells like father of father and son, kind of. So people are right. I read on uh, so many discussions about the metal cap, plastic cap, and if you have been looking for it, guys, I'm delighted to tell you it's here. Check it out and pick it up. It's more checking out. If you are a Nautica Voyage lover, I hope you like the video. What other, which other flanker series would you like me to cover next? Do comment below and I would get it done. See ya. Yeah.